Welcome to Down Under Thailand. Some people might be interested in the procedure for marriage, etc., in Thailand, if you're marrying a local. Well, I won't necessarily go into the actual documentation, etc., of it. You can find it out, the most recent information online without any trouble. But here's a, a bit of a view into the marriage between myself and Tony. Um, some footage of us during the ceremony, quite a bit of footage of the festivities that go on either side of it. There's a number of days leading up to it where you have guests and you feed them and entertain them, and pretty much the same directly after the ceremony itself. So here's an eye into that. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Don't be there. ไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไ
Yeah, can't we say it? Say it
ก็ไม่ได้ต้องเรียนการเรียนว่าเราเชื่อมีธรรมะเราสมมุติว่าการไหนท่านอุตส่าห์เข้าบนการกับวิธีการของการที่ชวนมาเรียนเป็นที่จ
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That's pretty much a traditional Thai wedding. That's what you can expect out in the Yusan, out in the rural areas. Um, a bit of variation, depending on the region, but pretty much the, the basics are all the same. There will be a few days leading up to the, the wedding, quite often. Depends on how busy people are. Obviously, when you've got a lot of guests coming in from places like Bangkok and so on, they might be short on time. Uh, the wedding may be cut down to a shorter length and just be the one day, but it, it varies. So depending on where you are. So we had three days. We had two days leading up where guests came. Also the monks came earlier in the evening, normally around about 6 p.m. And they have a small prayer session and blessing. blessing. So that went on for two days. On the final day, it started at 4 a.m., and we had makeup. <laughs> yeah, I had makeup too. Then the next thing was, there's a bit of preparation. 6 a.m. the monks arrived for a final prayer session. Then everybody went outside. The monks stayed inside and were fed. While they were inside, we had a little ceremony where we gave tambun to the monks. They carry a vessel when they go around town. Um, well, they were on a table outside, so ourselves, friends and family, proceeded to do that. Then when the guests started to arrive, some had been there for when the monks were there. They made a point of being there at that time. Um, a little bit later on, after the monks had left, then it was my turn to go down towards town and to start a traditional session where the groom makes his way to the bride's home where the ceremony is going to be. There's a bit of music, a bit of dancing, a bit of frivolity, basically being displayed to all the locals and people around. They know who the groom is. They see you there. They know it's your wedding day. A bit of a procession to, to pretty well celebrate that. When you get to the home, the Thai tradition is that there is a silver and then a gold door. The intention of those is that you get to those doors, a bit of joking and whatever, but you're required to give a gift. It's normally an envelope with some money in to prove that the, the groom has the wherewithal to support his wife in their new life together. Two gates, silver first, and then the gold. Get a bit of jiving about, no, no, it's not enough money or you can't go through. It's all with a lot of joking and laughter. So the second gate, you do the same thing with an increased amount of uh, value in the gift. Once you're through the final gate, you think you're home and hose. But the next thing is normally um, a symbolic washing of the feet. You're taking off shoes and socks and washing away the bad karma of the world or the street before you enter the room where the ceremony is going to be held. So finally, you're in there, you have the ceremony. There is the Thai traditional linking of a white cotton string is normally tied around the wrist of the, or the, the neck of the bride and the groom. And they're normally continuing circles to show the continuation of the, the marriage of the alliance, I guess. And yet at the same time, it shows that you're together in a marriage, but without losing your individuality of who you are. And that doesn't come through so much in Western marriages, but they make a point of it in Thailand. Once that's done, once the ceremony has been delivered, then a continuation of the cotton string theme. It happens on auspicious days, it happens in the temple. The tying of a band of string around a wrist is uh, a symbolic of wishing luck and good karma. 
normally with the marriage and I think in pretty much all the other situations where that ceremony is performed you normally keep that band on for about three days to get the benefit of the full good karma that's involved in it a sign of respect sign of best wishes so once that's done we all moved outside the ceremony had been complete we fed the guests spent some time with them obviously I'd already been introduced to everybody but it's a little bit of fun and eating together and that was great. Then the guests leave, they come back in the evening, starting you know, after 5 or 6 p.m. at night. We proceed to feed them again. Obviously the catering is a very big thing. Talony's sister, Kat, actually ran a catering business that did that professionally, so she was well versed at doing that. And she had her cooking team there and did a magnificent job. So again, we catered for everybody. There was a fair bit of uh, drinking and stuff that went on. There was plenty of whiskey and beer and soft drinks for those who were uh, non-drinkers. The stage was set up. We had a bit of karaoke, a bit of fun and games there. We had an MC who starts off by delivering jokes and short stories and jibes about the bride and groom. Everybody has a bit of a laugh and a chuckle at your expense, but uh, it's all good-hearted. So then karaoke on into the night great time had by one and all then the next day we actually had a little bit more of a session there for a, a few of the close friends and great time had by one and all a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed that any questions and comments down below or if you've got youtube where they've changed your your, your viewer interface which i noticed happened recently comments and so on maybe to the one side to the right hand side but hope you enjoyed please subscribe give me some questions and stuff happy to answer and we'll catch you in the next video bye for now